I just came back from Cuba on a Sunday. And uh, yeah, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Good afternoon today to you. Today is the 13th, it's Tuesday. And we've got a very special video that we're gonna let everyone see right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but just, I know you wanted to share with all of your viewers and fans, especially your fans, mm -hmm. about your new merchandise. Yes. And the ones that you designed? T-shirts. Yes, T-shirts. And I'm uh, just going to go quickly through them. You have some short sleeve shirts. You have some different designs on the short sleeve shirts. You have mugs. You've got baseball caps. And of course, the famous meme now that you made famous is Good Afternoon. Yeah. So if you guys want to support here on this channel, please go there. We'll leave the link down below as well as in the description box. Uh, anyway, everything that you can see on the, uh, uh, the link. Yes. Yeah, kind of mainly one design that you had come, but they come with different variations. So. Mm. Okay, Hero, see you soon. Right, thank you. Thank you so much. And welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hiro-san, how are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. And we've got a great afternoon today. Actually, this roll was your idea. Mm -hmm. Been trying to put it together for a long time, and I don't think we've ever taken this long to prepare ourselves for making any dish or any roll or any type of food. So, um, no, today is, uh several ingredients, very, some of them very hard to get. Right, very, very hard to get, very, very expensive, a lot of moving parts. So uh, let's show everybody what we're talking about. Our first part of this WTF. What does WTF stand for you? Uh, WTF, as you know, WTF is WTF. But, uh, what <laughs> for you, it means something different. <laughs> yeah, come up, the idea is W, it's actually Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef, W, you can call Wagyu. And uh, T, it's a uh, toro, it's a uh, fari tuna, the bluefin fari tuna, toro, we call it toro, the toro, first character T, so I took that T from this one. F, foie gras, right. take the F, so WTF, wagyu, and toro, and foie gras. And also a little truffle too, Yes. a little truffle right. surprise. Right. Truffle also. Yes, so. Everything is very, very expensive as you're gonna see right now. We're gonna do an unboxing right now. This was sent to us by Debraga. They're located in New York. It's called New York's Butcher. Yes. And they specialize in really high-end meats. Anyone from the United States can get it shipped overnight. Uh, we contacted Stephanie over there and she was kind enough to uh, send a few things for us to try. So this is all very, very expensive. Just by the way, they're from New York. They raise dorsal lambs in New York as well as bring an Iberico pork from Spain, besides a Wagyu beef, which is from uh, Miyazaki, Miyazaki, right, so which is Miyazaki. excellent, excellent, excellent quality. Anyway, here, let's open it up and see what we have. Sure. Can we mention this before? If you want here to review anything, send it to the address in the description box. Do like a little fan mail. Okay, we have here a styrofoam cooler, ice packs, okay. What do we have inside? Okay, let's take it out here. This is, uh, let's see what do I have here. This is the New York Strip, which is about 12 ounces. This will cost $125. Here we have two four ounce portions of the filet. That's also $125 for the two. And then we have here, this is the Miyazaki, the ribeye. And this is just over a pound. This will cost you over $110. Altogether, you've got about um, $350 worth of merchandise here. Incredible. And we just want to thank again Debraga for sending this to us. Uh, we're going to tell you how it is. And we're going to, uh, here, which, which piece do you want to use today? So today, this is I'm going to use uh, this one. Okay. Mm. And then, then the, you know, in the future we're gonna do uh, filet mignon and uh, ribeye steak. Okay. Another recipe. Perfect. Okay, Hiro, we are going to go through all the ingredients for this WTF roll. Okay, let's start. This is a Miyazaki beef. Miyazaki mm -hmm. Wagyu beef for the yes. W. This was $125 for about 12 ounces here, okay? The pork bra. Well, wow, this is about $19.50. Here, can you turn it around? I want to show everyone the weight of this is 2.46 ounces and the cost was about $19.50. Okay, Hero. 
And then beluga caviar. Beluga caviar, the most expensive caviar you can find. It's from the beluga sturgeon husu husu fish. It's found in the Caspian Sea or the Black Sea. $130 for one ounce of this. And then summer black truffle. This is summer black truffle. The price is right here. Sorry, it's just on the napkin. It was wrapped in a napkin. It's fresh. 0 0.08 ounces. Cost per pound is $300 a pound. And our cost for this truffle was $24. Okay, hero. And then he has a bluefin. Uh, bluefin Old Toro. The highest price per pound fish that you can find. This is a tuna belly. Price is $55 a pound. We have about a quarter pound here. Okay, hero. Then uh, after this one, I'm gonna use for the decoration of my throat. I'm going to uh, use it, maybe not, uh, micro green here. And the ikura, salmon eggs here. And the wasabi sea salt, the uni flavor sea salt, and here Himalayan sea salt. Okay. And of course, I'm gonna use that yakinori. And you're gonna make a special rice with this as well, right? With the yes. summer truffle that we saw one time? Rice. Okay. Wow, I'm excited, Hiro. Mm. We're really excited. If you add up all these ingredients together, the total is over $313, our cost. So think about it for one second. If you're running a business and your cost is around $300, say $10, you would have to multiply that minimum at least by three in order to pay for your other expenses. This will be about $1,000 worth of food retail cost in the restaurant. This is crazy, Hiro. And it doesn't even look like a lot of stuff, but it's what our cost is, so. Mm. Uh, I, can, I can make several rolls anyway, so. Okay. This meal is gonna be, it's like a thousand dollar meal for everything here. Okay, so next step. Uh, first up, I'm going to make uh, black truffle rice. Here is, uh, I just made the sushi rice. It's a flask uh, rice uh, mixed with uh, uh, rice, uh, sushi vinegar already. So then I'm going to add this one. Black okay. We have a special slicer for the black truffle. Right. Marquis is a place that we were able to yes. pick everything up from. Want to thank him. Want to thank him for the great customer service to the owner. Uh, selling us this fresh truffle. Okay, girl. Right. Smells so good. You know, he also had these truffles that were inside a glass jar, but he says, you know what? You want something fresh that you don't find in many places? I mean, really, where can you find fresh truffles, you know? Yes. Very, very rare. I wish people can smell this one. Oh. So good. You smelled it before you were slicing it. It's amazing. First, I'm going to use this this side, this part. Okay. And yeah, you can see the marbling that goes to the whole piece. Like so. For those of you who don't know what foie gras is, it actually means fat liver. And it's either from a duck or from a geese. And how they get it to be like this is a force feed it corn through a feeding tube. Okay. I'm going to do uh, the beef. Yeah, lucky beef.
It smells great. I don't know which smells good. It's good, right? The beef or the foie gras? Both. Both, right? Look how much oil is in there. Oh, here. Look at that beef. So this beef, of course, I, I will cook in just only the uh, top. This is seared, right? Yeah, that's seared. And uh, Miyazaki, that's a prefecture in Japan, yeah. huh? It's like Kobe is a prefecture. Kobe, Kobe is actually a city. Oh, a city, okay. Yeah. Miyazaki, that's a prefecture? Yes. That's it. This one. That's inside. Oh my goodness. That it looks so good. So good, right? It looks so good. Okay. Let's just make load. Okay, hero. WTF. Right? Yes. For us, it means something else. We don't know what you guys are thinking about, but. Not chofu. Nice. <laughs> On it. Uh huh. Wow, look at that fresh sushi rice with truffle. Mm. I have not seen this anywhere else before, hero. You never know, seen this one before? No, I've never seen anyone make sushi with summer truffle rice. Very oily, huh? Yeah, it's a bit oily. Okay, and then Miyazaki you. Miyazaki beef. Oh my goodness. Okay, load it up. into eight piece. So one piece uh, how much you wanna be? <laughs> one piece, probably twenty five dollars a piece. We still have some ingredients left over here but we'll be using it in a little bit. Put that this one here face up. And then the, I'm gonna use a toro. Okay. I'm gonna set it up a little bit, piece a little bit, little, no, one each piece. The next one is a uh, beluga caviar. Keep this in 
here. Then, just for the color. Just a little piece, ikura, one. Only just for the color. Another part of the beef. I'm gonna make a nigiri sushi. Oh, so far you've gone through over half an ounce so it's already sixty dollars worth of caviar on top of this and of course a slice of yes, fresh summer truffle yes and then my signature gold of flame okay. Wow. Okay. Hero. All I can say is wow. This is as good as it gets. Seriously. Take a look at this. Now we missed out half a piece, which we later on with one piece of foie but this is probably the most expensive part that we didn't include, which was worth about maybe $60. Mm -hmm. This is worth about $10, a truffle maybe. I don't know, ten dollars worth caviar. We've used about more than half. The rest of it is in here. Here, I don't know what to say. <laughs> WTF? From now on, it's going to have another meaning for us, right? Yeah. So soon we're going to come up with some other acronym sushi rolls. For right now, we wish you at home could be here to have a piece of this with us. This is just so beautiful. Hero, I don't know what to say, but um, yeah, wait. Do it. this is my bonus, I guess. Yeah. My year-end bonus. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. If you like this video at home, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you very, very soon. Thank okay. you. And we are at this moment in time. Hero, mm. the tasting, tasting part. Parts. 
I don't know. Do you really want to eat this, Hero? So this is just like a we, beautiful work of art. We have to eat. I just want to look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am outnumbered mm. by you. Okay. Okay, Hero. Enjoy. I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt. I love this wasabi sea salt. Mm. It is delicious. Enjoy. Mm. Have you ever had anything like this before? I mean, you are done something that. Not uh, this combination, but the individual. Yeah, individual, but come in a combination like this. Look at this. It's unbelievable. Mm. Well, I'm not going to make a mess. I'll have some after we finish filming, but Hero, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Beautiful piece of work. Can't wait to try it. See you soon. We started eating this. I tried a piece. I can't tell you how good this is. I had to film it. This beef, Hero, is unbelievable. This beef. This Wagyu beef, Miyaz Miyazaki. Mm -hmm. Miyazaki, right? Miyazaki. Unbelievable. You guys got to give these people a call at the Braga and try a piece. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Hero, mm -hmm. I am out of words. I can't describe how good it tastes, you know? Which one is that one? Oh, the, the uh, truffle? Like I'm gonna have another piece here. Man, the fogo is so smooth you don't even taste it. Hmm. But it's like butter. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I know in Japanese tradition, less is more. But let me tell you, there is nothing that I can tell you to describe this taste with everything together. Nothing is so strong, nothing's overpowering. The caviar isn't overpowering, the akura, maybe a light, light taste because it's a little salty. The toro is unbelievable. Everything, every part of this mm -hmm. just melts in your mouth. The meat melts in your mouth, mm -hmm. the fogoa melts in your mouth, the toro melts in your mouth. The rice with truffle, it's fresh sushi made rice, melts in your mouth. If this, Hero, I'm telling you. It's good. <laughs> you can't <get> every day. <laughs> this would be my last meal on earth. Okay, Hero. If I was sentenced to meet my maker, this would be my last meal on earth. Wow. But this beef is superb. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I don't want to sound like a pig. This is so, so good, Hero. I'm telling you. <laughs> I have not tasted anything better than this. By anyone. Okay, I've eaten a lot of places. But this together... You know, I don't want to stop filming because I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, guys. Everyone's probably bored of hearing me give my explanation of this amazing dish. Hero, gonna be hard to top this one. Really, really hard to beat this roll. I'm telling you. So, so good. <laughs> yeah. And we got that other beef yeah, over there. Uh, beef there. We're gonna cook it up. Okay, Hero, enjoy. All right, thank you. Thank you.